Yo, it's Brian the Game. Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know it's time for. Okay, you gotta make this shit up, bro. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Alright, give me everything then. I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. Mm, that shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. I'm not gonna say no to freak shit. Oh, wow. Firefly's budget, 20,000. All right. Well, I feel like you're not gonna need this after a while, so, you know, I'll hold it on to you. This is Panacone's most iconic dish. Oh, my God, the Colin picture. All right, take your pick. It's my treat. All right. Well, like I said, I'm having a little bit of everything. Woo. Clocky pizza hole. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is gonna have some bad repercussions in the future, but it's fine. We're all about living in the moment. I am a horrible human being. What? Are you done ordering? You you have great This is just the appetizer. I I'll get the bill. Mm, now, let's go this way. I think she likes me. That's Clocky, isn't it? The mascot? Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Pentagoni's famous cartoon character. I love him from a distance. He looks, you know, very cartoonish, but the more you look at him, the more you see the souls that were sacrificed to make the statue. Okay. I don't want to be a pervert. Everything here is themed around souls. But did I just see her underwear? It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Uh-huh. From this angle. Hey, there's a ride attendant over Whoa. Are you paying for this, too? I'm here with my benefactor. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Ooh, ooh. Which, which? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. Are you underestimated me? I am a gamer, lady. Um, ma'am, why is your face like that? Am I racist? All right, give me seven. Super big prize. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Give me seven. Big prize. Ooh, I got a funny hat. What the hell? Do you like stories of sad endings or happy endings, my friend? I personally prefer the former. When beauty is carefully shattered, the sublime devastation always leaves people so triplet. <laughs> Whoa, what does this do? Golden capsule machine? Whoa, okay. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Um, okay. Come on, 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 no! Someone's been following you. Wait, I thought they were following you. I'm certain that you were his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Who is this mystery person? He's about... Five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Is this Sampo? Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides. Oh, this is so Sampo! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, Sampo! Blazer girl. <laughs> Fuck you, man. What are you doing here? It's been such a long time, old friend. Such a long time. I see you're still the same. Cheesy bastard. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. So I stalking something new you do now? I can't be dreaming, can I? Sampo? Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. Don't call yourself friend, please. People are going to think the wrong thing about us. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your L06 open up to the outside. I knew it's Sambo's tailing Firefly, not us. Um, this gentleman is? Punchable face. Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the... <laughs> <laughs> no, more like you forgot her. Does she look anything like March 7? March 7 is like a fucking bouncy ball. She's a well-mannered, gentle lady. She's probably trying to kill me this whole time, but until then, don't compare her with March and insult her like that. Um, Mr. Sambo. Don't talk to him. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? No, you mean Miss March 7th. Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Aw, what happened to you, Sampo? Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! It's morphin' time? Ain't no way they just say it's... Oh, my. What the fuck's going on? Wait, what? Huh? Why did you turn into this thing? Let out a grunt that sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt, man. Really, this is so cool. You look so cool. 
You got swag now, pal. Hey, I could hit you both in the cross just now, alright? Don't so test me. Wait, okay, wait, wait, it's morphin time! Ain't no way, Star Rail! Oh my god, it's morphin time! Alright, we morphin hard this game, bro. This fucking I mean, alright, become the garbage can! Do the trash bags have the long been broken? <laughs> yeah, them legs, though. Well, you never seen trash cans going around, you know, talking about the economy? <laughs> okay, the trash cans have their own language. What's up? Then get the right trash in your can. Here we are. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. As long as you're not feeling rotten, I'm sure I'll be fine. How much trash can puns can I make? Let's start the calendar. The garbage king would wait for me here. Maybe he smelled himself. Have I, been set up? I feel like we've been taken out. What the? You yeah, have I been set up? Sampo! Why are you the king even in your own dream? What the hell? Oh man, he's up for a beating, bro. Oh, thank you. Trash cans, my friends! No! Makama! the best cutscene <laughs> so far. What the hell? No! Not my trash cans! You bastard! They weren't even past their expiration date! I'll stop you! No matter what! She jumped! I transformed into the final- Wait! Huh? What kind of nonsense is this? What do you mean? I wanna know what happens next! Who pawed- but, bro, what happened after that? Why is it the moment I get a beat up Sambo, this game takes it away from me, huh? You don't find her the least bit suspicious. I mean, she's pretty to look at. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot free. <laughs> I trust her more than I trust you. What did Sambo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Yeah, where is she? Eh, you know, I thought it'd be pretty easy to find a cutie like you, but guess I've been distracted. By all this nonsense around me. The girl turns her body sideways, gazing in the distance. As evading her gaze, after a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You feel guilty, don't you? <laughs> yes. Then why'd you start this to begin with? There are things... I'm hiding from you. If you are, would you mind telling them to me now, at least? I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. <laughs> I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. Who's using you, Firefly? You can board the Astral Express, too. <sighs> you create that life. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's where she chops me into lips. It's my very own secret base. I take me. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. I believe you. Thanks. Is that... I'm pretty much a sucker, I'm into for coming with you so far. Might as well play out that role till the end. Help! Help! Help me! Alright! Wait, this sounds like Mickey Mouse! Someone's dying! Please, come here! Someone's already dying? What kind of thing are you? I love the voice acting. Yeah? Is there a problem? Wait, I see a clock with limbs. Yes, I can. Clocky! Famous celebrity in Patagonia. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. Hamster Ball Knight? Misha. Misha's in trouble. Tick tock. Help, help. A talking clock, eh? All right. I talked to Sam Boone after a long time and I'm already losing my mind. Clock that talks? Uh, clocky? Yep. Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. And this time around, I'm seeing through my eyes. I'm not even wearing the glasses anymore. Bro, he even runs cartoonish. Looks like something nice. Everyone, what please, the? Archeon! And the bellboy! Wait, Misha. Wait, this is Misha. I thought his name was Mista. You broke the rules. And now, you're gonna have to pay the... Isn't he like an employed employee here? Punishing boss. Punishing boss. Archeon stepped in again. 
Oh, did I come <laughs> You're roped into all the missions this time around, Em. Mason, bye. All of the, all of the people I know! What do you mean by all? Sometimes my own famousness amazes me. But it doesn't look like he's dying, Clocky. My baseball bat can't wait to show its might. I'm afraid a baseball bat isn't an efficient weapon. Well, no. What I mean is, we can't solve this problem. I again. like this part a few more, if you ask me. Let's make you sad. <laughs> there, there. I have no clue what I did. You sure I pulled that off? It's tough being a grown-up, all right. <laughs> I want to cry now, too, for no reason. I miss my wife. Shortly after we parted ways, Why is this in red now? Lady wearing a black veil who was also a guest at the hotel. In third person. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. Which event? Is she talking to me in the future towns? And ignition! <laughs> Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game. Whoa, are we on the rooftop of all the buildings in Panacone? Whoa. Yeah, this is all wallpaper material, man. Also, Sanji from One Piece, hello? Wait, can I move? I can, okay. Different points in space are linked together. This is messing up gravity so hard. Gravity oh, reality. On the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? It really is. Eternal Golden Braid. Interesting name. Whoa! We're playing Mario Maker, bro. Alright, new boss enemy, let's go. Does let's see if we can take it on. If not, you know, this is gonna suck. Stop heating? Okay. Uh oh, okay. An elusive foretelling. Hmm. What is that bar? Five stacks of stuff heating has been applied. Okay, so is that what burn damage? It's like, what does stuff heating mean? Um, okay. Interrupt the charging to stop the flaming stir. <laughs> when are we gonna speak English again, gamers? Boom. What's up with the ominous boss music? Don't one shot me, don't one shot me. Um, okay. Or kill yourself. That's fine too. Did I love her all the bro? It looks way too badass, but when I see that damage, I'm like, look, look. So when you do her all, you get this one turn where, you know, the stacks she applies doesn't go away. Because, you know, her stacks explode, right? The stacks she has on enemies. And when it explodes, it resets. So you want to delay using her ult until you have enough stacks. No, when you want to stack up more. All right, let's go. 74? How the heck did it stack up so much? After a long last, Trailblazers. Let's see the beautiful view. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? What the fuck? This is way too romantic. It's cute. But are you sure you want me to be the person to be here with you? I don't know. For a beautiful girl like you, there's gotta be many contenders now. Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Like literally? Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky wow. in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city. I mean, keep it and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people, and the dreams. Thank you, Robin. Without being disturbed by anyone. Thanks, Firefly. This is worth it at the end. How beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. The Wandering Ranger and the IPC Ambassador. The Astral Express Nameless. And me. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. Which we'll be getting into soon, but let's not ruin the moment, shall we? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. 
That means Galahar was right, wasn't it? I know. But I also hope you should tell me. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. Well, you hit it in the first place. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... They hit you too. I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. You can travel all the way to the end of the universe, but unless you give yourself a place to stay, you never will belong anywhere. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. I just want to be rich. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Can you tell me? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? Is that another word for autism? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it Whoa. will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. And the process is barely noticeable to others. They really knew what they were doing when they named you Firefly. Yeah. I didn't feel like joke. Um. But I gotta cope somehow. You can still run, jump, and talk. At least you can you jump. Know. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how could I possibly resist it? I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen, and see, and touch, and think, and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I'm listening. I am. In fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. I don't even care about anyone's legacy. I'm just here to, you know, gamba. I called you my friend, bro. That means something to me. Firefly. Thanks. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? So she was able to decode it too. You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. People are way too enticed by the dream, though. Nightmarish past will disperse. Can't and blame fade them. Away like Life the is pretty cruel, after all. In the future, that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think 
It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. Girl, I can't lighten the mood any more than I have. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? We'd probably make fun of Mars. Popo would cool us down with the water from a spray can. Dunhan would tell us dry jokes with deadpan expression. Himiko would make coffee for us. Mr. Yang would try to take the subject. Mars would force us to take a selfie with her. <sighs> yeah, Mars is the one that comes to my mind right now. Time to take a come over in a death photo. So many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Gotta have something on the tombstone. Sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. I'll give somebody else to laugh at. The girl hands the phone to you, her eyes full of expectation. You take the phone, launch the camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. This time around, they're giving us two options. Remember what Sambo said, don't be naive. And I'm sorry, Sambo. Being naive is how I met all of you two. So, what can I say? I'm too stubborn to change. I don't know her agenda, I don't know her deal, but... I want to believe in my friend. One. Two. Cheese. Cheese. Aww. And now things spiral out of control. We're all having fun. Lots of fun, sure. But something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's very odd. We're in a dream, dumbass. Well, so you're still alive? I already mourned you. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at an auction. He walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. Also, it had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. Looks like the tour is back to reality. So we're due. Let's meet up in my room. All right. All right, Firefly, see ya. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. It sure does. I have many moments to live through after this, too. Same goes for you. It's a beautiful dream. We'll meet again. Won't we? I feel like going back to reality and resting, too. Come on. Let's say goodbye at Golden Hour. Forever? New Dreamscape Pass Handbooks have been unlocked! Okay, let's go! Thumping hard. What thumping hard, bro? I'm a married guy. Would you calm down? I just gotta say no to a pretty woman, all right? Strange. Where's everyone? Okay, going? here we go. I'm really, really disappointed in you. I'm gonna live for your approval, Sampo. <laughs> what is going on? This sparkles fishes, no? What um, the fuck? Excuse me. Huh? Why don't you rest for a little while? It was sparkle. What the fuck? I knew it. What's the deal with you, oh. kid? Oh my god. Would you stay away from me, Brad? So this whole time, Sambo was actually Sparkle? This... What is oh this Oh my place? god, the Astral Express. I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling. The surroundings look a little like... I just... Archeon! Help! Help! Wait, am I getting messages? Himiko, Welt, I've run into a little trouble. Message failed to send. Huh? Oh my god. Can't get in touch with. What's going on? I didn't say Himiko's name. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little out of time now. The video's duration has gone way off, and that means it's time to, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share it with your friends if you enjoyed this video. It really does help the videos out so much, so I thank you wholeheartedly for that. Follow me on Twitch after this, where I stream Honkai Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and Genshin Impact, and other games too from time to time. We'd like to just use it to wipe the best community possible to say all of you. Speaking of an amazing community, join the Ring of the Household, our Discord, link in the description. And finally, follow me on Twitter, where I post that Yoinkies Bloinkies. And yeah, Trailblazers, this is heating up quite a bit, isn't it? We'll see what happens next together.